So what if I told you there's a certain way, a certain technique, a certain place on your lake that you can find the biggest crappie? I'm talking two, three pound slabs. Let's break it down, guys. How to catch the biggest crappie on your lake right now. Oh, got me a new chair. Y'all see that? <laughs> What's up, guys? It's Steven Turner with Turner Fishing. Welcome back to the channel. So, I mean, a big question about any kind of fishing, whether you're out there uh, brim fishing, whatever, bass fishing, you're out there sticking your hand in some holes, getting bit by a big old catfish, and you're like, oh! Is how do you catch the biggest, the biggest and baddest of whatever species that you're catching? Now, yeah, this video entitles, you know, going out catching huge crappy. But what I'm about to share with you, honestly, I shouldn't be sharing. This, this is just, you know, there's a certain place on every lake, every body of water that's just a... A little bit better let me emphasize that guys if you go out to let's say you got a town you know I, I live in a, a, a town all right in this town we've got restaurants okay on one section of town you know you've got the expensive restaurants with you know, the 15 to $20 steaks and crab legs for $30 for two clusters, which makes no sense because I could probably eat about 10 clusters and still be hungry because, you know, big old belly right there. And then you've got the road with the McDonald's, the Burger Kings, the Wendy's, the Popeye's, the KFC, uh, the Chinese restaurant, the Cat and D's, Sonic, Arby's, and they're all, you know, in one area. Okay? Now, us as human beings, unless we're rich, we're going to be over here in this area. You know? And then you got the special kind of fish that's over here eating these filet mignons that we're not even going to worry about. Because you pay $20, you ain't even getting full. But you go over here to McDonald's, I'm going to get me a 20-piece and two McDoubles, and hey, big boy, happy. So, on a lake, let, let's justify that. Whether you're fishing a highland reservoir, a river system, a lowland reservoir, a pond, uh, anywhere, there is going to be one or two things that stick out better than the whole lake now you you might ask yourself well steven what do you mean if you're a normal crappy fisherman you know i'm gonna wake up well i'm gonna head to the lake i'm gonna go to the river okay i'm gonna go to the river and then once or twice a year i'm gonna stick me a a, a certified hee -haw! and you know it'd be two and a half pounds you know two 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 to two and a half pounds you may catch two or three a year i'm gonna break this more down for you i'm gonna hop on the computer once i get home and we're gonna go over these areas and i'm gonna explain why these areas are better than 90 percent of your lake now i'm not saying you can't go out and fish your same brush piles and catch your same fish every single year and look up and catch a huge one but if you put your place in these certain areas where there's certain qualities to this body of water in this certain area, there's going to be more two pounders, more three pounders. If you're in like the three pound class lakes like Santee Cooper, uh, Lake uh, Eufaula and all that. I, I can't think of the lakes right now, but I'm going to hop on the computer. We're going to go over it. I'm going to hit up Navionics. I mean, you can find all this from your home. All right, so we are on the computer. And basically, these programs I'm about to show you are absolutely free. You can go download them now. And these are fundamental things you need to do before you hit the water if you want to catch a big old slab donkey donkey. 
So what we have here is Google Earth. And there's a couple things. Let's see. There we go. There's a couple things you need to do before you do anything. You need to pick a lake. What lake are you going to fish? So I have never covered Lake Hartwell. So that's what we're going to do. Lake Hartwell. So we're going to search it up. And it's going to take us straight to Lake Hartwell. So here we are on Lake Hartwell. <laughs> so if you download the Google Earth Pro, it's free. You're going to come up here to this time thing. And what you're going to do, you're going to hit the back button until you find when your lake was drawn down. So there we go. So now we can zoom in to make sure that's drawn down. Yeah, you see the banks and stuff. This way you can check the depth of the creek channel versus, you know, Navionics. Now the next tool we're going to use, let me switch it over to it. Navionics. We're already on Lake Hartwell. So what we're what I'm going to do now is explain, you know, this this the entire lakes right here. You you start on Navionics and then you go to Google Earth to check. And what I want to do is I'm going to find two creeks that are just bigger than all the other creeks and go check them out on that um, Google Earth. So, you know, you got the river system right here, the Chattahooga coming into there. You got Pickens Creek coming from Russell, but that's going into the dam, so not really a good spot. You know, you've got some feeder creeks, like you got this pond right here, and the backs of those coves. And you got a little creek right here. But the ones that really stick out is either this creek right here, Todd Creek. You know, it feeds pretty far up. Then you got the, the river right here. We don't want to mess with that. Let's check the depth on Todd Creek. It's a 30 foot going in. You got a bridge. This bridge probably holds some fish. You've got a channel swing right here with 23 foot. Creek bed swing, 18. You got another bridge. What's the depth on that bridge? 18. I mean, that's t honest. That's two places you could catch them. But we're trying to find the biggest and baddest. So let me run down why we're doing this to begin with. The more food the crappie has to eat, the bigger the crappie is going to get. How do you get more food in a lake? Is where they're going to go feed. There's more plankton, there's more stuff on the bottom for plankton to eat. Thus, there's going to be more minnows, more shad, more other little bait fish. So the crappie are going to go and eat those bait fish. And the more bait fish they have to eat, the bigger they're going to get. And oops! your chances of catching a bigger crappie so let's find another creek and then we're gonna go check it out on Google Earth so this one right here is pretty long this looks like a really good kayak spot so we're gonna go down we've got a bridge but it's shallow see we only got about nine foot depth going through 20 foot on that swing got some docks here those docks probably hold fish, but now what I was saying, this creek isn't as good as Todd's Creek. It doesn't have as much depth. You're looking for the deepest creek, the longest creek. The longer the creek, the more more bait fish is in there, the more fish they got, the crappies got to eat. So the next long one is this one right here. So we start shallow in the back, but we're, we've already at 14 foot. So springtime, it could definitely hold some. Going out to 15, 
There's an 18 foot hump right there near some docks. You got a bridge right here and a submerged bridge. 22 foot depth on that bridge. Ooh, it's getting a little spicy. Alright, then we're going to come out. We've got a huge channel swing right here. That's 43 foot deep. Man, if you put a brush pile right here on the back side of this island to stay out of the wind, that'd be good. 52 feet. Man. This is where I would start. God, look, look at this. If I went to Hartwell right now, this is where I'm going. I don't know the name of this creek. Let's see. 3, 3 and 20 creek. I mean, you could start probably not out here in 100 foot, but like right here, and you just start trolling, man. <laughs> but this is where I would focus. This looks really good, but the main thing is to get the biggest creek arm that you can find on any lake you've got. If you've got small creek arms, just find the, the best one. We're about to check it out on Google Earth real quick. Let me switch over there. Up this village right here. Uh, leisure village to end up finding it because once you zoom out, man, you can't find nothing. So this is 3 and 20 Creek, the one that I was really, really excited for just because of the depth. So we're going to zoom in and see what we can find. You can tell that this is like the winter drawdown because of the trees without leaves and stuff. Huge freaking island right there. There's a buoy marker on that one. But like these docks that are alone, I mean, look how far that dock comes out. So I'm actually, I'm going to check Navionics. There's an island there and a dock. Let me switch over to Navionics really quick just to see how deep that dock is. So let's see. So we are down here. I was in the wrong place. So right here. And there's a dock there. No, that dock's only in nine foot. So let's go up here. There's one dock past the bridge that's in about 20 foot. Let's check it out. This one right here. So this right here is like a drop off about 20 to 40 foot and look you can actually see that there's a boat slip so you'll be able to skip it. That's really cool. But anyway guys this is the gist of it. This is I mean I'm I didn't mean to start studying the lake as I was doing it but that that kind of gives you an overview of what I'm looking for. Now just because you find the biggest and baddest creek on your lake doesn't mean that you are going to catch it but you're going to put yourself in a situation where if you're on the right group of fish or if you're on the right fish with live scope and you're able to go through this creek you have a better chance to catch a trophy crappy than any other creek in the lake and that is a hundred percent facts now they are main lake crappy that could be bigger but we're not covering that we're covering the creeks <laughs> but anyway guys if you haven't already hit the subscribe button for me smash the like button and be sure to head over to crappymanjigs.com and order you some baits